I'd like to share a different approach or technique to teaching tuning in your band class. A well-trained human ear is a pretty good tuner. Teaching students to hear intonation or lack thereof is often a challenging task. Using digital tuners to tune simply teaches students to tune one note, often at the expense of armature or all the other notes on their instrument. Of course, in a pinch, a digital tuner is a handy tool. However, for long-term learning, this technique may be useful to you. This technique clearly highlights the beats or the wah 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 wahs that occur between two out of tune pitches. As pitches approach each other, the beats begin to slow. Once aligned, the pitches match and it's almost as if one of the players has stopped playing. The lack or absence of wah wah wahs or the beats indicates that the two notes are finally in tune. While this technique is most easily demonstrated on a trombone in something other than first position, you could also use a trumpet using the tuning slide of the trumpet as a trombone-like slide. Please observe this technique. One other way to demonstrate this technique in a more controlled way is through the use of digital chromatic tuners. You'll need at least two of the same tuner to demonstrate using this technique. Something like the Korg CA50 or some of its previous versions, the CA40, CA30, or any of the Korg tuners that have pitch producing features and calibrate buttons would work fine for this. Essentially what I would do here is have two tuners ready. I'd have them both producing the same pitch such as B flat, D flat, whatever you want. And on one of the tuners, you would make sure that the hertz, in this example here, what you see on screen, there's 442. I would make sure that each tuner had a different number shown there. I would slowly increase or decrease the number on one of them to approach the number on the other. And as you do that, as they get closer and closer, you'll hear the beats slow down, the wah wah wahs will slow down. And just before you make the numbers match, uh, they'll be extremely slow and when you finally hit the calibrate button to make both of them match it will sound to your students and to you like you've turned one of them off but in reality the frequencies have matched and to demonstrate that both still are playing you can hold one behind your back and push the other one forward and then alternate that back and forth to show that both are still playing they're just in tune and that's why you don't hear the beats or the wah wahs or the lack of alignment of the pitches so that's a more controlled way of doing it. If you don't have players that can maybe hold a steady pitch um, for this purpose, that might be another way to demonstrate this technique as well.